Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel. And today is Way Back When Wednesday. We are going back to the late 1940s. I'm going to be using this paper pad that I showed. It's called Habitat, and it's by Reflections, Recollections, Recollections. I almost said it wrong. <laughs> we don't have our Michaels here. <laughs> but this was gifted to me. And it's been several years ago. And I used it a few times right when I first got it and then put it on the shelf and have not used it since. It was a matter of, okay, I want an outdoor picture. <laughs> and I really didn't think it'd go with kids' pictures outdoors. And you know, that's what I usually do. But you all know <laughs> that my goal is to do one heritage layout a week. And I pulled this one out, and um, they're dressed in their Sunday best. And I thought, okay, do I have a picture, uh, do I have paper with a church on it? <laughs> no. And then I thought of those ones, oh, that painter of lights, what's his name? I can't even think what his name is. I had stickers. Yes, I have stickers of houses that he painted. And I thought about that. And... Then I have this one that's got a cross on it. And I bought it for the Last Supper. My son was in the 12, one of the 12 guys with the Black Last Supper um, play. And I bought it for it. But I thought about using it on this one since they were in their Sunday best because they went to church. And then I thought of this paper. <laughs> and I thought, oh my goodness, they're outside. And, of course, it's a black and white photo. And they didn't have colored photos back then. Well, they had them in color if they were hand-painted. I even had a hand-painted painting kit for photos at one time, which I played with. I was a teenager. I played with it. My uh, sister-in-law, well, she's my sister-in-law now, she had found it at a yard sale and thought of me because I like to do crafts and stuff. And she got it for me. So I did use it. I'm not going to say I was the best at it, but I did use it. But anyway, I thought, I need a lot of color in this. And I pulled this out and I thought, well, it's not a whole lot of color, but I think it's absolutely perfect for this picture. So yeah, I decided to use it and I fussy cut out all those flowers. I showed the paper at the beginning stopped the video and then I fussy cut all those flowers out and I've got extra so next time I use this pad I'll be ready I'll have some but see my tag down there that I forgot to show the dies that is Tim Holtz Sizzix, um dies and I, I told myself I am not gonna buy no more Tim Holtz Sizzix dies Every one of them is such a tight fit in there. And these, I couldn't tell one letter from another hardly. I pulled the letter for, uh, you know, I was doing the U, S, U, N. No, it was the N, the N. The fifth letter that I found was actually an N. But yeah, I was, I just went ahead and print the, printed. I went ahead and cut out the whole Thing, all of them because I couldn't tell one from another anyway and I thought once I cut, print, punch them out cut, cut them out I'll be able to tell maybe wrong <sighs> I had the hardest time so anyway when I got them out I almost lost a couple and I found them I thought I'm just going to go ahead and put them on the bottom of that page and they will be there when I get ready to use them but if you were watching I made like a little pocket down at the bottom with the flowers so I could tuck my tag in there. And I am going to put their names first. So I'm going to put like Ida with her mom Nancy and her sister-in-law Lucy dressed in their Sunday. Well, dressed in there. And then Sunday Best is going to be there for the title. I'll have to write small to get all that on there. But that's what my plan is. And then on the back, I'm going to put a little bit more about them. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to be able to pull it out. So I did test it. And the flowers, some of them I am 
well, like half is getting adhered straight to the paper, and then the other half has foam tape behind it. And I'm doing it with some of the leaves too, not all of them. The ones down there by the tag, I didn't do that with because I wanted to make sure they stayed. I didn't want anything slowing the tag down going in or out either. So it just they didn't get no foam tape. But yeah, I found this photo and I didn't have to do much to it at all. The photo I had was a copy of a copy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when me, my mom and I went, uh, when I got my first printer with the scanner, I took it visiting. And I copied different people's photos. And so mom ended up with some pictures that she hadn't actually even seen before. So she was really happy. But yeah, I'd copy their picture and for my mom. And then I had to take all them and make me copies later. So yeah, a copy of a copy. But it had, you know, creases in it. where And, and it was tore too. Down by their feet there was a tear. And so, yeah, I just fixed it so it looks pretty good. And then the other's going to go in my pocket album with more information. This picture from my mom's cousin. Well, no, it's my mom's mother's cousin, um, Lily. And uh, I believe what they said was that they'd gone to church that day and they all gone back to, uh, all got together and eight you know back then there was no air conditioning and it's summertime here you can tell so chances are they were eating outside because i'd hear them talk about eating outside and like i said they're a musical family i am sure there was a guitar playing and my aunt there on the left always played the piano at church she had one at home very very rarely but um yeah, I think she had one. She paid $20 for once. And she had that for a long time. But, yeah, they were musical. So they, they'd all get together. And the men mostly would play music. Because, like I said, she probably didn't have a piano there. And they'd play guitars and stuff. And, yes, there was a, an accordion there. Yeah. Isn't that what they're called with that thing, the music box? Squeeze box is what some people call them. I think that's what they called them when I was a kid. That's that's why I have a hard time remembering the correct name. <laughs> but, yeah, they would play music and eat and talk and visit. And there was no TV, so no TV going. But, uh, yeah, they didn't have to have a radio. They could just make their own music. And Aunt Lucy there on the right. Oh, she loved to play the tambourine. I mean, I can remember so many times with her with the tambourine. Well, Aunt Ida on the left, she would do it too. But most of the time it was the piano. And she played by ear. She didn't. I think everybody played by ear. They did not learn to read music. But, yeah, that's my layout. And I want to thank you all so very much for watching. You all are the ones keeping me going on this i mean ever since i started scrapbooking i said i was going to get these pictures scrapped and have not done it till now so thank you all so much for encouraging me and keeping me at it but there's my layout with the habitat by recollections and that tag is from the ledger which is um prima and I just cut it out of the corner. I sure hated cutting in a 12 by 12. But I did it because I wanted that. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And all of you that are subscribed, thank you so much. Have a happy scrappy week. Bye.